can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you what's going on guys welcome back to welcome back to another video and today's video uh we're getting back to the F10. So basically, we're gonna be wrapping up the F10 a little bit. The wrap finally came in, but before we actually do that, I need to drop off you guys' packages and I also need to get some food. So I'll catch you guys at the post office first. Wait guys, so I actually forgot to announce the winner. So I have everyone in here. Let me just go and put my hand through there. Okay, and the winner is Angel Gonzalez. So shout out to Angel Gonzalez, you were the winner. So I'm gonna go ahead package of the charge pipe for you as soon as we get the post office try to, i'm gonna try to figure out if they have a packaging over there for the charge pipe if not i'll take the box home and i'll get it done for you buddy but yeah you are the winner so i'll make sure to send it out to you and also once you get it please tag me on instagram once you guys get it so i can show everybody that you actually got the item all right now i'll see you guys at the post office all right guys we are here at the post office let's drop it off all right guys this chipotle is packed i'm probably gonna head to the other one package acquired all right, guys, so I just finished up my meal. I have my Invisalign's back on, and my brother's here. Um, before we actually start this, uh, we're gonna have a little push-up, friendly push-up competition. You want a what? Yeah, we're gonna have to do a push-up competition, so you better get your ass over here. And uh, I have a little little yoga mat right here, just just in case, you know, you don't wanna get your hands dirty. Hey, we have to integrate it. You wanna go? No, let's go. Come on, let's go, big boy. All right, guys, we both literally just ate, so... Uh, <laughs> Just getting your blood pump in now that we are officially pumped up <laughs> to a certain degree. Let's go ahead and get the 535 in here and start wrapping it up. So uh, we have two wrap colors right there. The, uh, pick a box, whatever box you choose when you're wrapping the car. Are you serious? Yep, just pick a box. Do different colors. Different colors. Yep, just pick a box. Okay, yeah, pick a box. You, you want me to pick this one since so it's closer, but I'm gonna pick this one because I know what you're thinking. So I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> okay, so. What color is this guy right here? All right guys, we're about to find out what color we're about to wrap the 535. Psych, um, we're not using that color guys. Nope, um, I, I, try, I was hoping my brother would choose the right color. But yeah, uh, he actually chose the color for the 135. <laughs> I was hoping you really actually choose this one. So, let's go ahead and unbox this one. <laughs> Knock this sucker down. All right, yeah, do the honors, show him what color we got. And careful, that blade is sharp. Okay. Kind of an ocean blue vibe. So that's what we're actually gonna be doing on the F10, boys. So uh, this is a color that me and my girl saw on the internet. And uh, this is the color that you guys kind of recommended. I don't know if this reminds you of the M3, but it's basically the M3 color. So that's what you guys wanted. Went ahead and got something similar to it. So let's go ahead and uh, just get the 535 in here. All right, guys, the car actually needs a wash before we start wrapping anything. So uh, let's go ahead and get some detailing products and just start getting this thing ready for some wrap. Guys, check out the beast. I cannot wait till this thing's wrapped up. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right. Let's just hurry up and uh, wash this thing. Yes, you can see it is absolutely filthy. All right, guys, you have some of the cleaning products right here, but we're actually just gonna go ahead and just dump a bucket of water. I don't have a hose at the house, unfortunately, so we're just gonna dump a bucket of water, try to get all this dirt off as much as possible, and then use some detailing products and just get this thing ready for wrap. I am so stoked for this, guys. Cannot wait. This car has been sitting outside of the house in like quadruple colors. We got chrome, black, gray, silver. We just have so many different colors on this car. Finally getting it all together is gonna be like a dream come true. So um, I really wanna go ahead and try to do as much of the car as possible. Obviously we're not gonna be able to do it all one day. No one can wrap a car in an entire day. Me and my brother did it once, but uh, we, we cut so many corners. I think we did it within 18 hours straight, no sleep. And uh, it was very unhealthy, guys. The car ended up starting peeling because we really cut corners. We did not heat where we needed to heat. It started bubbling up the next morning. Prep work is important and we didn't give it enough. So anyhow, uh, let's just go ahead, again, dump a bucket of water and just wipe off the hood, fenders, bumper, and at least we'll start with that for now. Did I really not show me putting water on the car? All right, let's go ahead and just start wiping all this dirt off.
All right, guys, looking at the hood right now, from this angle, you can clearly kind of see that dip. As you guys can see, I pulled it out a lot better than it originally was. Um, so that is my work right there. From this angle, it's not the greatest on camera, but for the rest of the car, it looks pretty immaculate. So obviously, uh, I'll probably end up taking this down to a body shop and get that fixed. Right now, all the body shops that I know are closed. So, you know, I don't wanna put Bono on this and mess this up. I think it's good enough for now. The good thing is this hood has a seam line all the way to the bottom of the hood. So we can always put another piece here and make it look pretty seamless because of that line. So worst comes to worst, we'll have to just go ahead and bladeless cut that and then put another piece, bladeless cut that, and it would look pretty good. So just so we can get this part fixed. But honestly, right now, it looks a lot better than it originally did. So really happy about that. Without further ado, um, we got the grills off. We got the side grills off, thank the Lord. Let's go ahead and wrap the hood. Are you ready? All right, let's get it, dude. Guys, just a little update. We pretty much finished most of the hood. Let me go ahead and put the settings. Oh, you guys can actually see it. It's like a super light baby blue, but it's not baby blue. It's called an ocean blue, where it kind of becomes like kind of whitish blue to blue. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks so good. So here's the actual dent in the hood that we ended up uh, hammering out ourselves. It's actually not that bad. So that is the worst of the damage. Honestly, from here, you guys can barely even notice it. So. Honestly, it's okay, you know, things happen. Again, it's not Souvenir's fault. This is a Souvenir hood. It's great quality. It's perfect fitment. It's because of the shipping carrier. Wow, I'm absolutely sweaty. Yeah, it is really hot today, and uh, it's not bad to sweat. You lose calories. Anyhow, yeah, um, it, it, it just sucks that the shipping uh, carrier had to damage it. They packaged it so well, I don't know what else they could have done on their end, so it is what it is. Um, body shops currently are closed that I, that I like to go to, so, you know, COVID's only getting worse, so make sure you guys stay safe, guys. A lot of stores were reopened and not reclosed, um, but anywho, it looks like I had to deal with that on my own. It's not a big deal, thank the Lord. The rest of the body is absolutely immaculate, so it should look really good in the end. I can hurt you like you hurt me too. Uh, so the eyes just gonna go over the whole hood with some heat, just to make sure there's any bubbles left in the hood. We can go ahead and get them out, and I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it down and also throw in the two grills, so, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, this is how the hood is looking right now with the dent. But disregard that, those two black grills make this hood look so good. And that's actually like the key features of this, this hood. Um, but yeah, guys, 10 out of 10. Suit, I love the color. The hood came out pretty good. We do have to um, clean up the rest of the body panels a little more. There's a little bit of dirt underneath this compared to my copper car and the 650i. But for the most part, it came out really good and I'm really happy with this. So anywho, let's go ahead and knock out both fenders because um, those are really easy. Plus they make a huge difference since the rest of the car is all silver and gray and these are black. So let's just go ahead and just knock those out, make it blue so we don't have too many colors on this car. Plus we can actually throw in the grills as well. We're actually gonna be wrapping the grills in black and we're also gonna throw those in. So that's gonna look super sick. So let's do the fenders, complete those little trim pieces. It's gonna, look, it's gonna make it look so good. And then we'll probably take off the bumper and knock that out as well. It's gonna be a real pain. Bumpers take absolutely forever, but it's something that's gonna make it look so good. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and knock it out because I can imagine the whole front end complete, guys. So anyhow, let's go ahead and do these fenders. Guys, we just went ahead and knocked out this fender. Uh, we had a few little issues in down there because it was wet. When you guys wash a car, it's just not smart, honestly, to actually wash a car. You need to use waterless wash when you when you want to wash a car before you actually wrap it. Because if you wash it, water gets stuck in between the bumper cracks underneath there. The wrap will not stick. So we had to we had to pretty much finesse it, and it finally worked. 
on this edge right here, um, which actually looks really good, and then down there as well. Um, so yeah, everything is pretty good for the most part. All this is just dirt, as you guys can see, that comes right off. So um, other than that, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we actually clean up the rest of the car. But guys, look at this! Like, doesn't this look crazy? I love the black. These grills have a lot of chrome on them. Uh, instead of sanding them down to paint them chrome, because they never actually come out good, we're just gonna wrap the chrome in gloss black. We have some gloss black wrap right there, and actually we have the carbon fiber lip. So we might actually have to remove that bumper and put on the carbon fiber lip at the same time. What do you think? It'd be a good idea, also. So um, anywho, uh, so. So before uh, the last, so the next thing we're going to do is just knock out that other fender because uh, it's already the car is already really coming together from the front end. But uh, go ahead and knock out that fender and uh, yeah, you ready to do it, dude? Ready. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, my brother's gonna go ahead and try to knock out this fender real quick. We went ahead and just applied it on there. The hood is done. This fender is done. I do want to come. I like completing everything when it comes to like doing. I don't like you know, wrapping the front bumper and then moving on to the rest of the car if the front bumper isn't fully back assembled. So what I like to do is finish up everything. Um, so we have these two side markers that came on the M5 style fenders and uh, they have all this chrome on it that has to go. So I think it actually separates in two parts. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that. I have some black wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out. So, so three, two, one. And just like that guys, they are officially both complete. I even pretty much wrapped the centerpiece instead of putting the M5 in there. It just makes it look like it's kind of filled in. So that looks pretty good. I'm super happy with both of these. Uh, these could be a little bit better, honestly, but uh, I think they're really good. And for little things like this, it's just the details, the fact that they're black, it's gonna look super good. And I actually like how this is white. This also white looks so good with the baby blue. I'm actually really digging. I can only imagine the bumper is fully blue with the blue fender and the blue hood and the white accents on the headlights. It actually complements each other so nicely. It literally has like an ocean vibe. Let me know what you guys think about that, but I actually kind of like the white uh, with the black. I think that's super sick. I mean, honestly, if this thing had white wheels, that would be insane. I mean, should I do it, guys? Let me, let me know. Let me know down below. And that's how it looks, guys, with the black and the white turn saying, oh, I can only imagine the rest of this car complete, guys. This color looks so freaking good, yo. Oh my goodness, look at that. All right, my brother's finishing up the other side. We are getting together. Um, I already finished the turn signal on this side, so once we actually finish this side completely, it will be pretty much ready to go to put in this uh, turn signal. And we have this whole portion done. This bumper is gonna, we already took about, we've already been working for about five hours. Wrapping takes forever, guys. Don't underestimate wrapping. It's not hard, but it's very time consuming for preparation and just, you know, wrapping things. This bumper might take us alone another five hours. I've seen people take literally a full day on bumpers because they're just so difficult. It's got a lot of little edges, a lot of little overlays that to put everywhere, and then you wrap the whole front bumper. So I do think if we wrap this front bumper, it's gonna look super sick. So. I mean, for the first video, guys, I think we're gonna have to do it. I think we're gonna have to persevere and knock it out because obviously this is the hardest thing on the car. I think as soon as I said that, my brother had a heart attack. <laughs> oh. Oh. And then pretty much this whole sides thing, it's gonna be really easy. Everything is super easy on the side. You have the side skirts, super easy doors, super easy. The hardest thing about a door is removing the door handles, but I, I think this is a one piece and it's not too difficult to remove. I do have to order some wrap to actually knock out these little uh, side trim. And the rear bumper is not too hard. It's pretty easy, honestly. It looks really easy. There's not, not much, too much curves on it. And then also uh, the trunk, we can do a multiple pieces because we got a spoiler so we can complete the top cut it off right between the spoiler. We can pretty much bring it down to here, cut it right here, and then we have the third piece there. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be too bad. All right guys, just knocked out this fender, black turn signal, the hood with black grills. Guys, this is looking so good. And also this fender, oh my God. That's looking pretty freaking gorgeous. This is this is insane. So at this point, uh, we might take a little break before we actually get into the bumper, but uh, that is the absolute last thing we have to do. And then uh, we're probably gonna probably call it for a day because you guys, this is gonna take us about five hours. If you guys are probably wondering, Nora, why can't you just wrap the whole car in one video? It This will be about a, a week long video. I don't wanna make it that long, but I'm gonna try to knock this out in probably two, videos max, hopefully. The front end is, pop, is probably the most time consuming. There's a lot of things. On the side, there's really not much. It's The doors are flat, the, the side skirts is flat, the trunk is flat, the roof is already done. It's just the front end, you know, you have hood vents, you have a lot of tucking. The, side, the fenders, you have little grill pieces, and the front bumper is obviously monstrous. Let me know, guys, I'm actually super curious. Should I paint these rims or should I just keep it the way they are? I feel like they look good, but if they're painted, would well, they look a whole lot better? Maybe even paint the calipers. I'm not really too sure. You guys let me know down below. But I'm actually really starting to like the car a lot because of how the wrap is coming out. This is looking really good, honestly. And to think this actually has a JB4 and an intake. This thing's gonna be an absolute beast. We have a couple more mods coming in for it, so uh, 
we're nowhere close to being done. All right, guys, so I just want to let you all know basically how we cut out the fenders um, to make, you know, to try to make the most out of the wrap. Basically what we do, because we know it's five by 60, so it's five uh, feet regardless one way. So as you guys can see, it's it, from here to here, it's probably already five feet um, or less. So if that's the case, from here to here is only three feet. So you want to basically um, go five by six to do both fenders. You don't want to go, you don't want to do three by 10 because then you end up using 10 feet instead of the six feet. So basically you can, unless you have color shifting wrap, you basically can just, you know, try to try to get the most out of your wrap. <laughs> right now we're doing the front bumper, but we actually measured the rear bumper. So this is the dimensions of the rear bumper, which is almost about 11, 11 and a half feet, something like that, uh, 10 and a half feet. So we're gonna measure out the, uh, the rear bumper, cut it off and then split it directly in half. So it's gonna be 10 feet by two and a half. And the front bumper, it's gonna be about six feet by two and a half. And then we're gonna have extra to do all the inlays. So that's how we're gonna go ahead and do it. And then uh, basically, we're basically maxing out our wrap and we're not wasting any. So you ready to do this, dude? I know, brother. I appreciate my guy. We're about to get some Jamba Juice after this. I know it's like slave labor, but I appreciate you, my guy. Guys, so that's enough for the front bumper. The other side, we actually saved it for the rear bumper, which we're gonna be doing probably in a future video. Um, this is good, what we're gonna use for all the inlays on the front bumper. So this piece would have went to waste, but we went ahead and saved this instead of cutting it out of the roll that we actually need for the rest of the car. This is a five by 55. I don't know if that's gonna be enough for the car. This is a very big car, but I went ahead and just went five by 55 to kind of make it like a little bit of a challenge to see if we can wrap this whole car five by 55. Obviously the roof is a five by six. So uh, that, you know, we have to consider that if you're gonna be wrapping the whole car the same color. So technically it's a five by 60 project. You can just say that by one foot off. So anyway guys, let's go ahead, take this, put in all the overlays. Um, we do have to also prep the bumper. So we'll do all that right now. All right, guys, look how it, lo it looks like, I think it's called Glacier Blue or something. Guys, look at that. So we still need the emblem to throw on, but we pretty much assembled the front end of this car. Dude, yeah, what do you think? Is that such a nice color? Oh my God. So we didn't end up wrapping that little portion down there because we have a lip and we didn't wrap that portion down there because again, we have a lip, it's gonna connect it and all that good stuff. For the bumper, we did pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. We actually did it on the car this time because it is such a massive bumper. Um, we, we, we assumed if we put it on something and we're trying to stretch it, the bumper's just gonna move and flex too much. So we did it on the car and thankfully we knocked it out and it looks absolutely amazing. We have the black grills that already came with the car so that worked out perfectly. The black, the black grills on there and then we also blacked out these side markers as well. So um, yeah, the car is super dirty right now. I've been touching it all over the place. Hopefully when we get the whole car wrapped up, uh, we'll clean it all up and show you guys a cool cinematic. But even these white headlights with the blue, I think looks so sick. This blue almost looks like my M3 blue, which is pretty insane. This isn't from 3M. Which I was surprised, to be honest, because both boxes say 3M on the box, but this is not 3M. This is apparently from Oracle. So if uh, so, I don't know if maybe this company is a branch of 3M because I'm pretty sure I ordered 3M wrap. This is a 3M. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than 3M, but it's still it's not it's not cheap. It's not cheap whatsoever. So uh, yeah, um, me and my brother is gonna go ahead and ch call it a night. As you guys see, it's super late out. I've been working since sunrise. I think we started at like 12. And uh, what time is it right now, dude? It is 9.10 right now. So yeah, me and my brother about to head inside, call it a day. Shout out to my brother for helping me out. Huge shout out to him. Um, we pretty much knocked out the front clip which had all the little things. Probably in the next video, I'm gonna try to knock out either the rest of the car or most of the car. So make sure to smash the like button if you guys wanna see that next. Or let me know if you guys wanna see a video on the N54, 135, 500 horsepower burger tuning kit because that thing is gonna be 500 horsepower in no time. But I, I, 
I cannot believe it's gonna have that kind of power in such a small body. It's gonna be so much fun. Anywho, without further ado, guys, and last but not least, I got I ordered some wheels for the 435, so that's also coming in. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.